him right now. Could you do that? Because you know what I'd like to do? I'd like him to go back to the State Department, or as they call it, the Deep State Department, if you don't mind. I'd like to have him go back and uh, do his job. So does anybody have any questions? There are two people in our country of America that love a good crisis, as quoted by one of these two people, a politician named Rahm Emanuel. When there is a good crisis, you take advantage of it. Rich people like crisis and politicians love crisis because that's when they get to dole out the money they want to whatever causes they want. And in this video, we're going to talk about the real economic damage of COVID-19, what you can do to protect yourself and how to get through this crisis and what America should be doing and should have done. We're going to discuss it in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Also check out my podcast because in that podcast that I did, that I'm dropping tomorrow, I'll be talking about the latest and greatest in streaming entertainment you guys can check out to help you get through this crisis. And also follow me on Instagram. For those of you that don't know my business background and my professional medical background, I am a former respiratory therapist who started a business that made six figures for a long, long time invest in real estate heavily, invest in stocks heavily. And I do run this YouTube thing that has done well also. So I keep up with the financial times and the effects things have on our economy. The issue that we're having in this country to just start this thing off, what we're currently doing by quarantine major cities and telling people not to go to work is very unsustainable for our economy. We have what we call a top-down economy where we expect trickle-down to work, which we know in a lot of instances it doesn't. And when people want to talk about their budgets and all that kind of stuff, it goes out the window when there's a crisis. It's true that our government bumbled this in the very beginning, so much so that we're now hearing that politicians on both sides of the aisle knew about this way early, dump stocks and what they call a pump and dump, and now we're looking at them like, dude, what was you doing? You knew about this early on, why you didn't do something to protect the American people? Well, check this out. Taiwan had this thing wrapped up early on because they implemented a program that the CDC taught them to do where you test everyone, and if you come out positive, you quarantine those people, and then you quarantine the people associated with them so that everybody else can continue to work so that you don't stifle their economy. America taught Taiwan that. In Italy, right now, the epicenter, you're always hearing in the media, which can be skewed for entertainment purposes, that everything is doom and gloom in Italy. There is one town in Italy, in the epicenter of the coronavirus, that got everyone the test, they used the same method the CDC taught that town in Taiwan. And guess, get this, ladies and gentlemen, zero people over the last 10 days have tested positive for coronavirus because they implemented this program the CDC taught Taiwan early on in this whole of COVID-19. Now, the issue that we've got to face with our country, like I said, we cannot sustain what they're trying to do by quarantining and telling people not to come out and work. Now, for now, because we've handled it wrong in the beginning, we're stuck here. But what needs to happen is everybody needs to get this test as quickly as possible so that we can implement the program the CDC taught other people to do. And in terms of all these, it's been kicked around in politics that they're gonna do um, various programs to help the industry. And y'all know I have a big problem with that just simply because I know that capitalism, the way we have it set up, can be very unsustainable if every time we have these events, you bail out big industry and you don't bail out the people on Main Street. I had a problem when Barack Obama bailed out the big businesses, but didn't bail out the people on Main Street. Right now, they're talking about bailing out the people on Main Street by giving everybody $1,200. And if we really and truly are caring about the budget, which seems like it goes out the window every time there's a crisis, we can't really afford to bail out everybody. What I think we should do, and the politicians are all getting hung up because we're so divided, is 
everyone whose job is affected and has been told to stay home should be getting an extension in unemployment benefits. And if you are an independent contractor working in a gig economy, such as an Uber driver, someone like that who's not working, whatever you filed on your taxes last year, you should be given those benefits to help get us through this tragedy we're going through right now, which is COVID-19. I put a post on Facebook just the other day because these are the real heroes that are helping out America and just sacrificing tooth and nail to make sure we get through this. It was one of my most popular po posts. I mentioned not to forget about the respiratory therapists that are working with the ventilators in dealing with COVID-19 because it is such a harsh um, virus on the, the airway and the lung system. I myself am a former respiratory therapist, but I also said don't forget the other medical professionals. I mentioned respiratory therapists in particular because they're not being getting the airplay that you hear about doctors and nurses, when a lot of them are the ones working directly with the ventilators and the people who are infected with COVID-19. Some of them are dying. A lot of the doctors are dying. Some of the nurses are dying because they're working double shift. They're sacrificing it all to make sure that we can get healthy and keep our commerce going. You know, this is near and dear to my heart because my wife is a doctor and she's currently pregnant with my firstborn child and I really don't want to see her get sick, nor do I want to get sick. So we're doing everything we can to empower people to, if you have symptoms, get tested. And if you feel like you're sick, stay home. This is a real deal thing, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you all to do the best you can to help this country heal because economically we can't survive like this. And we can't continue to rely on the politicians to dole out money to whom they want to dole it out to. And right now they're fighting over who should get the money. And when I say they're fighting, they're saying we need stimulus, but both parties are trying to put what they call pork barrel spending in the budget so that they can get money to the people that have backed them from donors. I mean, mean people, ladies and gentlemen, this is just not helpful for us. We need them to do something to make sure everybody can get tested. That should be priority number one. Continue to retest those people and then get something out there to the people who are not gonna be working, who are affected the most. That's the real deal on COVID-19 and its effects here in America and what we can do as human beings to help get this thing under control. We should be calling our politicians, cussing them out. We can't have Democrats right now wanting to stick gun legislation in bills, nor should we be having politicians wanting to give extra money to big donors and not have big companies pay back money that we're trying to give to them from the Republican side. So ladies and gentlemen, leave me all your comments. What are you doing to protect yourself from COVID-19? Has anyone you know been affected? And what do you plan on doing in the future to sustain the health and financial stability of your family? If you haven't tried the Robinhood app, download it right now so that you can at least just keep a lookout on stocks and what stocks are doing. I will leave you a link in my video description. And if you use that link, you will get a free stock just by downloading the app. You don't have to do anything else. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life game. I am back. I'll be putting up content twice daily like I used to do. Took a little break to get my taxes done, but I'm here to help you guys make those life gains again. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.